Hello YouTube, I'm here with um how to tell if a hacker is in your computer. Um, this is really simple because your computer pretty much makes its IP address, which is pretty much your computer's ID ID on the internet in a way. What happens is like they can get in your computer multiple ways and what happens they can control your computer, look at your files, stuff like that. And if they're smart enough. Or they can just sit in your computer and steal viable information from it. First off, when you go down and start and bring up run. If your computer does not have run, that means the user you're on, if it's a two user computer, the user that you're on uh, does not have run, that means you need to go to the original user. And if you still don't have run, that means your computer is, uh, some reason doesn't have run, uh, you're pretty much screwed. So you can click on run, it's going to bring up, type the name of your program, folder document, or internet source, and Windows will open it for you. It will bring a thing with a drop down, what you're going to type in is C M D. Then you're going to hit, not browse, but okay. From there, there's going to be a window looking like this, saying your documents, Microsoft, and documents and settings, compact owner. And it's waiting for you right, there, right here to type something. You're going to hit caps, cap lock, and type in. N E T S T A T. That's net stack. It's gonna hit enter. It's gonna give it a minute and then it's gonna bring up proto local address, foreign address, and state. From here, it'll say your all the way down, TCP, and then it's gonna bring up the uh, address. It's going to bring up your local host. And then, if it's established or if it's um, waiting. Now, if you have one on local address where it says your, now if you have one right here that does not say your, that means there's a hacker in your computer. To get rid of the hacker, you must get the IP address, which will be either listed here or here. And you're going to go to Google and you're going to type in trace an IP address. From there, you'll it'll ask you for the IP address. You got to memorize it, put it in, and it'll tell you where the hacker is at. Usually, the hacker will then leave your computer because they know they know that you're onto them. Well, that's it for this video, and I'll see you all guys next time.